I've stated this in the past when it comes to shotguns. I really wish they would update the firing range to where you could actually kind of run at target so I could feature things like shotguns in the firing range. As it stands, recoil patterns are a massive deal when it comes down to shotguns overall. So there's no real reason for me to go in the firing range and show that off, but I wish I could show things off like movement and how the potential is at close range, how close you can get a two shot, three shot, one shot. As of right now, I can't. One thing I can show you, which I am going to show you right now, is the spread of the weapon. So what I have this particular build built out for is actually tax stance spread because you can make the spread the basically the, as tight as possible. Think of it like aiming down the sights with the weapon, but you have a much more wide field of view. You're not gonna miss enemies. So as you can see, there's your standard spread on the weapon, but if you chuck it in tax stance, it is much smaller and it is much easier to find and hit your targets. Unfortunately, that's about all I can show you when it comes down to it. I hope they update the fire range there in the future, but let's get into some attachments. Starting us off here with a rear grip where we have the Phantom Grip, mainly for this sprint to fire speed, but also aim down sight speed. Since we are going to be targeting attack stance spread, you do want to have a decent aim down sight speed here. 7% is gained there, along with 18% to the sprint to fire speed. The sprint to fire speed is the more important statistic over the aim down sight speed though. Quarry Magazine, I go with a 30 round mag. You're running a shotgun, you're gonna be up close and personal. You're gonna be spraying down lanes of shipment, stash house, and meat. It makes sense, you want the most bullets here. Just a preference attachment as always. It's, it's not really a big deal if you don't run it, but that's my personal choice. To significantly help your tax stance spread, you're gonna want an underbarrel with the Bruin Bastion. Angle grip for hip fire and tax stance spread. We also get aiming idle sway, fire aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. But you can see there the large 22% to the hip fire spread, along with 23% to the tax stance spread. So not only are we helping our hip fire, but we're also hoping, helping our tax stance there. So it's gonna be good in multiple situations. For a muzzle, I have the Bruin and choke and it's the same reason i chose the underbarrel to tighten up the spread with hip fire and tack stance it's 15 percent to the hip fire spread 16 percent to the hip fire spread max and 17 percent to the tactical stance spread so bet between those two attachments that's really what's making this weapon have the tightest spread as possible in our final attachment is the sa draven 20 long barrel to increase our bullet velocity and damage range obviously this is an attachment you definitely want if you're using a shotgun you want to have the most damage range as possible and it's going to increase at 33 percent there not really too i don't really care too much about the minimum or the bullet velocity because you're not going to be taking long range fights obviously but that 33 percent is huge there i just want to make sure you guys are not running the suppressed barrel here because you are actually gaining far less in the form of damage range so keep that in mind make sure you guys get the draven 20 barrel unlocked if you don't and make sure you use that one. As always, there's all of your attachments on the screen if you guys needed to copy those down. The Riveter is one of my favorite shotguns in the game. I'm gonna put the Riveter and the MX Guardian actually as kind of my top two right now. I'm gonna have an MX Guardian video coming very soon. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss that one. As always, there's my loadout on the screen. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. As always, let's jump over and do a couple of gameplays on some small maps so you can see what exactly this Riveter shotgun can do. Hope you guys enjoy. I'ma be honest. I've been recording with the Riveter here for a little bit. About two hours ish, so that's pretty average for me. I'm not going for nukes, but I can't even get a streak right now. I can't get anything going. I can get like I got one chopper, but it wasn't like an impressive enough game for me to wanna hold on to, you know what I mean? So my goal here is to get some streaks and have some fun because right now nothing's working. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. Look at this. So if when you put it in tax stance, I think this is a bug. And you hold the trigger for a long period of time, it like kicks up. I don't I don't know. I think that's a bug. If I had to guess. So keep that in mind when you're using this. Maybe it's just like a setting I have on. I don't know. See how it kicked up right there? It's super annoying actually. Because you'll think you're like locking onto another target and you're not. I don't know. All right, we're already on another streak here, so that's a positive. It's a positive. I, maybe it's not just hack stance. I don't know. They have a mosquito, so I'm chilling for a second. I don't think that hit. They got a knifer. Oh, it's a sniper. We're going to do this. Kind of messed up and wasted all my bullets there. Let's hit my advanced. Okay, this is the best game I've had so far. Oh, 
I'm looking at my mini map. They're over here. We should be safe to, yep, get this kill. Don't you spawn on me. I need my, uh, I need my ammo box because I wasted a bunch of ammo. I wasted a bunch of ammo when I was trying to show off that recoil bug thing. Okay, I got ammo. I can't move. I can't move here. There's a sniper back there. That's a sniper. All right, we're just, I can't move, dude. I'll, I'll take an MGB, sure. I didn't even know they called a mosquito drone, sure. I like the Riveter on shipment a lot because of the, oh, Jesus Christ. Because of the knifers and stuff, it's like a, a knifer repellent at close range. Like the Lockwood, you can get some weird hit markers, right? Sniper. This unknown Phil guy keeps getting streaks though. Is that the knifer? It is the knifer. See what I mean? Knife or repellent. Loading. Getting close to another chop here. Let's push this way. All right, they're all there. There's the chop. Teammate just saved my life from a knifer. I think I just saved teammate there. Let's get these advanced called it. Oh, hi. Spawn right next to me. Bunch of snipers in this one. Bunch of snipers in this one. Let's get the EMP in the air. I want to do a second game on like meat, maybe. Stash house if I can't get meat. I love shipment and I hate it. Knife for a pallet. That guy has been sitting in that corner and I really want to push him, but I freaking can't. Don't you spawn on me, thank you. They're gonna spawn over here? Yeah, over here. Quad feed. See, these snipers freak me out, man. I don't know why people snipe on this. It doesn't really, whoa, that guy just spawned in front of me. It doesn't really make sense to me though, why people decide to snipe on shipment. Wouldn't it be more beneficial to go to like ground war or something, right? Just my opinion, of course, but. I don't even know who I just killed. See, they're all right here. There we go.
This is going quick. Meat is going to be more chaotic, I think. I got to pay attention to the clock because we've been triple capped for quite a while here. We got the hunter bomb. Guy spawned behind me. He's dead. Guy spawned behind me again. I don't know. I got to check. I'm going to see if this is like a known bug to make sure that like, oh, I didn't get the nuke in time. I didn't get it in time. That's my fault. That was an eight minute recording. That's crazy. That was quick, but game number two incoming. I'm going for meat. Might be stash house though. So I looked on the Call of Duty blog board and apparently that Riveter recoil, I don't know if you want to call it a recoil bug or whatever. Apparently this is known and it is in fact a bug. So I'm not tripping out. It is annoying, but apparently it's being worked on. We'll see. All I want out of this game is a W. All I want is a W, so I'm gonna, uh, I mean, it's not hill kittening when you're playing domination, but I'm gonna be a flag kitten? Is that what you wanna call it? All right, that's three. They're probably gonna spawn on me. Thank you, teammate. Yeah, they're all spawning over there. So we're gonna hit this route. We're gonna go around, go platform here. All right. God, I hate those freaking meat. I hate those meat. What a saying. What did I just say? I mean, it might need to not play as much objective as I thought. Teammates are uh, are enjoying themselves some objective time here. They got B. All right, Overwatch Hilo's in. I can't hit my shots, can't hit my shots. I just want to get B. Okay, we're on B. Let's just hit this now. EMP is it. Advanced UAV, brother? Okay, I'm kind of teed. They're on B. He's looking this way. Let's go this way. Target. Guy behind us. Two guys behind us. What a 24. I might get a nuke here. Every time I say that, I choke though. So got to keep that in mind. With the knife out here, it's not looking pretty either. I'm just going to be. I think they just spawned at C flip. Yep. Oh my god. Sure. Oh my god, this kid's raging. It's kind of funny. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Wait, what? Enemy securing C. Where? Where? I'm kind of teed. Holy crap. Got to go to B. Wish I had some kind of information here. All right. You know, he ran away. Oh, that guy didn't run away.
What the hell was that? Why? Dude, now I feel bad. Why? I don't know why, man. I don't know why. I'm sorry. The way they're playing the objective is very aggressive. Like they're on it. Um. I got stunned and, oh dude, they teed up. I'll give them credit, they teed up on this OBJ, but they're not gonna tee up for long. Okay, yup, 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 that's a thing. It's a thing. I haven't killed the the Rager in a minute. Is that him? I don't think that's him. Well, my team's spawning here. Okay, one guy's going all the way around. Oh, I'm dead. I heard the mosquito, man. It's always the cruise missiles and the damn mosquito drones. Never fails. Never fails. Well, my team has no interest in B anymore, so I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to get the flag if my teammates aren't even interested. I got a nuke, we win, but. This guy is straight up camping. That's the second time he's killed me from right there. Look at him. Oh, the dude that's raging left. I'm going after this guy. I don't care what I gotta do. This guy right here, I'm going after him. Oh, he's not there anymore. That's him. Revenge. I said I wasn't gonna get B and here I am. Getting B. Well, that means they're on C. No, sir. You're watching that way, teammate. We saw him, obviously. We're not gonna repeat that until he jumps so across. He didn't jump across. Wait, what? These guys are out here getting C. I'll let him have it. I'll let him have it. I want 100, so. I gotta have some some compromises here. If I want the 100, I gotta, whoa. That was a far ass one shot. Running at a time, I wanna make sure I actually hit the nuke in this game, because that was an L last game. Quad fiend? Nice. We control two objectives. We hold all objectives. Do not enemy security. One guy B. I don't even know how the other dude died. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to do this. Crap! I'm not gonna get 100 because of it. I meant to hit my chopper. Come on, Nuke, get me a kill. It got me in. 100 kills on the dot. 100 on the dot. I can't believe I pulled those like last seven kills out of my butt, dude. <laughs>